All right, guys, I wanted to do this video because I think it's important to be heard by anyone who's about to undergo a surgical or even non-surgical aesthetic procedure. And I want to talk about the right headspace someone has to be in. Now, people come in all the time for a consult and they think, you know, they're trying to interview me to see if we're the right fit. But what they might not know is I'm actually interviewing them as well to make sure that they're in the right headspace and that they're capable of achieving happiness once I'm done doing my thing. You shouldn't be doing this for anyone else. This should be something that you're doing for you because you're at the point now where you're in a good place. You just feel like it's a, you know, a bit of a problem area and that you just want to take care of it and not have to worry about it, feel confident. That's sort of where I'm looking to see my patients, are they there yet? If they're coming in and they're thinking that an aesthetic procedure is going to bring them the right partner or save their marriage or keep their boyfriend or whatever it is, I will actually decline to perform the procedure on those people because if I do the procedure and the guy leaves anyways or the wife, you know, leaves anyways, that's something external that's out of my control of me being able to achieve a confident, happy patient at the end of what I've done. So really, I want you to you know, take a good look at yourself. Why am I doing this? If it's just, you know what, I, I just want that little boost of confidence. I've been working out, I've been trying really hard, or gravity is real, or I want to do prevention, or things like that. It has to come from a place of self-love and self-confidence, not as a solution to other problems in the outside world that obviously aesthetic procedures are never going to fix.